Is this thing on? Is it on? I think it's on. Well, it's been a little while since we've done this. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Chris here and Lindsay, of course, with Called to Wander. It has been over a year and a half since we've talked to you in the camera like this and I've missed it. What about you? I, I've missed it too. As you may or may not know, depending on when you joined us, um, we've been doing this for, we've been on the road full time for five and a half years now. The first three and a half, almost four years, we filmed like every minute, Everything. Of, every minute of the day. Like, yeah. <laughs> and every hike we went on, every time we went paddle boarding, every, every time we did something, we took you there with us. We've got loads of, of seasons. You can go back and watch all that stuff, but it got to be, um, it got to be really hard on us for a couple of reasons. So if you have been following along with us, you may have joined us as we tried to drive from Alaska to Argentina and everything but the wheels fell off right around the time we hit yeah. Baja and the world shut down. So or you might have started following us when we got our new camper and we remodeled it. We took everything apart and thought we could put it all back together and somehow we managed to. Somehow. Or maybe you've been following us because of all of our great Baja content yeah. and you've enjoyed watching me walk around in a Speedo banana, ban banana hammock. I don't, I don't do that. Neither does she. I don't think I've ever seen you in a banana hammock. No, but we, we <laughs> saw one for sale, at, a used one at Goodwill today. I was <laughs> thinking about. We have missed being here and bringing you along with us. There's been a lot of reasons why we took a break from this vlog style, and there's a lot of reasons why we're coming back to it. And the biggest, I think, the biggest reason why we are coming back is we've really, we really genuinely have missed sharing everything that we've learned on the road. Um, Our lives. And, and how we're RVing, mm -hmm. where we're going, and some of the really cool things that we have going on that we are going to invite you to be a personal part of in the, in the coming weeks and months. On that note, we would love to know how you found us, whether you found us with our Baja content, our Alaska content, or our RV remodel content, please leave a note or a comment in the comment section on how you found us. We would love to know if you are an OG, or if you're new to our channel, we'd love to hear from you. And there are some OGs out there we miss. We hope you're still with us. Um, we are going to make sure that this notification gets out to you. So hopefully you're still subscribed and you get that notification. On that note, if you haven't signed up to get notified, go ahead and do so right now. That way you will be informed of all the videos we're going to be releasing because we are doing a new season. We're going to slide a season into the next chapter of our lives. As we mentioned, we're going to be inviting you along in that in a very exciting way. So where we left off on our vlog last year is where we are right now. Which is beneath the Ponderosa Pines and beautiful Custer State Park, South Dakota and the Black Hills of South Dakota. If you've never been here, put well, it on your bucket, bucket list. Bucket list it. It is, it is beautiful. I would say it's probably top five places that we've traveled in the country in the United States. Oh, yes. um, it is hyper scenic and it's become very deeply personal for us. Yeah, it's become a big part of our lives. So we've spent almost, we've spent two summers here now work camping and we've loved every minute of it. And not to go into all the details because we are going to share a little bit more of this idea of work camping. But as you may or may not know, we are not made out of money. As much as I try to turn around and poop out gold, it has not happened yet. Uh, if you don't like my humor, you can go ahead and leave, but that's just how I am. I talk about pooping out gold sometimes. Any farts on camera. Some, yeah, but I usually try to hide it and I, make it, I, blame, <laughs> I blame you for that. We, we are not made of, out of money and so the last 18 months of our life has been spent pretty much working, on the road, but working. We managed to slide into this awesome opportunity of working here in Custer State Park last year. Lindsay applied for a Wrangler position in the park where she was hoping to lead trail rides and incorporate her love for horses with the idea that we live in a beautiful place and I would go serve food and we'd be able to make money and save some money up for our future travels. That chapter was amazing. We fell in love with our jobs, fell in love with our boss, fell in love with all the people that we worked with. I think it was just absolutely incredible. And uh, we left in the last, last October. After work camping here last year, we went and wintered in Baja and just took some time for ourselves, not making really any videos, some informative stuff that we released. Um, and then we made our way back up to South Dakota. So after our winter in Baja, we decided to come back here for our second season, uh, just to store away some money. And it's been amazing. We did some changes. We're gonna show you a little bit of the modifications that we did to our RV and we'll talk about more detail. Um, but we've got a car now and that's been a game changer. 
We've been towing it with our Roadmaster tow kit, our Nighthawk tow kit, and that has been a game changer for it's us. It's been being amazing. Just to, uh -huh. this place is, is so much better to be able to enjoy this yeah, year round. Yeah, when you have a car. And so yeah. that was part of coming back was we purchased this car. We were able to get around and do a lot of things. Um, but we also, we took our old jobs back and Lindsay actually took a new job as a store manager at the general store. Yep. And I slid back into my old job working as the assistant general manager of one of the lodges here in Custer State Park. It's been an awesome year. It's been an awesome season for us. And we are now one week away from, from leaving from leaving from wheels up as they say and i'm i'm bittersweet it's bittersweet I, exciting but bittersweet i have Definitely. already gone through some stages of grief and missing this yeah. place we're kind of we're going to take you along today we'll show you some of some of our kind of favorite places yeah uh call it like a farewell tour for us um because this place has been so sacred to us because we've been working a lot we haven't been sharing a lot of what there is to do around here um, maybe we'll put some stuff out at some point, but we really didn't want to exploit the Black Hills. Um, they are sacred to Native Americans. They are now, as Lindsay said, they're very sacred to us. And there is so much to do here and so much beauty, but we just didn't feel like throwing videos out about how to go do this or where to go do that was necessary because there's a lot of content out there already. And this place is, is special for us. With one week left, we are going to do a couple things where we'll show you some of our favorites and and uh yeah maybe uh as Lindsay said and, put it on your bucket list right and we're also going to show like our work camping yeah setup we're going to show our work camping setup our um setup with our rv and how we've been stationary for almost six months now kind of crazy which is yeah it we is. got a lot of good pointers there and that's one of those things yeah. that we we never really thought we would have to stop i remember when we first started it was like okay we got this much money in the bank and we drove up to alaska and thing one thing after another happened and happened and we were bleeding money left and right and that's where we started this idea of well let's travel especially with our motorhome now seven miles to the gallon let's travel slower and stay longer and oh by the way we can make money if we stop and we work and so mm -hmm. so we've learned a lot about work camping that we'll share with you because it's an amazing opportunity if you're like us or maybe you're not like us. Maybe you're retired and you're just looking you just, for something. You're fun. just looking for something to do. Yeah, something fun to do in, in a beautiful case, place. There's a lot of volunteer job opportunities. Yeah, and there's a lot of pay opportunities. A lot of pay too. Where you mm -hmm. might get paid minimum wage, but you live in this beautiful place. And you have a free spot, the park. Potentially, mm -hmm. or or super cheap. So it's been an amazing experience, but we realize we are turning a page in our life. Um, I always have to put the disclaimer that doesn't mean we're having children. <laughs> we are not. We're not having children, right? No. Okay, good. No. We're not having children. Um, but we are turning a page, a very exciting page, and it's time to bring you guys along with with us along that journey. What's this? Ooh. What's this pretty car? This is the newest car that Lindsay or I have ever owned. It's a 2010 Honda CRV. It is our baby. We are towing it again with our awesome Roadmaster Nighthawk tow kit. Um, it has been a game changer for us, and we love it. Uh, I call it maroon. Lindsay calls it red. You tell us what color it is, but I definitely think it's maroon, or should I say garnet? I, I hate the idea it's of It's not garnet. 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 So, why do we have this tent over the top of it? Um, because the Black Hills are known for their crazy hailstorms, and we've gone through about 15 different hailstorms, including the one that did this. Including the one that destroyed. <laughs> but, but it the, kept our car safe the tent did exactly what it was supposed to do um it did keep our car safe <laughs> we've got a sunroof i'm scared of the sunroof ever leaking and so that was something fun that we had show over here because this is what happens in these crazy storms yeah. too it our, broke our, our tent broke tent. so <laughs> i took a walking stick and some zip ties and there you go <laughs> this is home i mean it feels like coming home i i work from 12 until about 9 at night and i enjoy the walk back here Lindsay usually has the lights on, the outside lights, and it's it's just like coming home. So, like home, we don't have everything perfect, but you can see we got our camper uh, set up, our motor home. We've got the sunshade across the top. Um, we've got our tire covers. Because we're stationary and the sun makes this big arc, we want to protect the tires. You can see what's left of Lindsay's beautiful flower garden. <laughs> My wildflowers and sunflowers I grew this year. Yeah, they... <laughs> they were there's a joy. Some there, there's some still blooming. <laughs> they were a joy. 
So a couple, a couple game changers for us this season um, of being here is that we had to swap some things out. The biggest thing we swapped out and that we were super happy about is you we've got tell. a new awning. Look how fancy. This awning is a Lippert Solera. It is an automatic awning. We had a manual one, which nothing wrong with the manual ones, but ours was almost 20 years old. We pulled it out and then it didn't want to retract and there were no replacement parts to fix it. So we are working with Lippert in this case and we've got this awesome Solera automatic awning. It has been awesome. We've got it on the wind sensor, which is great. I can shake it in just a minute. I'll shake it and it'll retract itself, which is awesome. Um, the fabric is amazing. And we just press the button and it goes in and it goes out and it goes in and it goes out. There's a button inside, so we don't even have to come outside. Um, and it does that. We also have a light bar track across the, the top. Um, so it is it's bright LED lights. It's, it's been a game changer for us because no matter where we travel, whether we're here for five months, this is our front yard, this is our porch. When we get to Baja, we're gonna have a similar setup, not as cluttered, not as much stuff, but it's our, this is our front, front yard, this is our porch. And we love the fact that this awning is so functional. Wind's blowing, uh-oh. Oh, and it lights, oh, it lights, it flashes. It it's going to be raining pine needles. <laughs> and she's good to go. Look at that. So now it's time the storms pass and I'm going to put it out because that's how we like to live life outside and it's going to pull itself back out. So while the awning is coming out, there's another thing that has been a game changer for us for being here in the long term and that's our extended stay for our propane. That hooks into our propane line coming out of the tank. We turn the tank off and we bypass it with the portable propane tanks. Why is this important? because we don't have to ride into town every month or so. Whenever we run out of propane here, we just take these into town or stop by Old Wally World, swap them out. And these usually last us now that we're running the furnace in the, the colder temperatures. It's lasting us about two weeks, but each tank has been lasting us about a month, which has been, again, it's been a game changer for being here. Walk out the door. We had, a, I built a shoe rack out of some pallets. Actually, we've got some pallets over here. Um, Working out has been central to being here. I want to lose weight and get in shape. This was used exactly four times. <laughs> I did four sets of crunches in five months and it shows. I'd show you, but I'm not going to show you. Um, but the idea when is, you is just speedo. when I wear my Speedo. <laughs> this is our little workout area. We do have weights that were used exactly twice. Uh, we've carried them now for four and a half years. But this is our little kind of little workstation. We, we bought a little portable storage bin, waterproof. Lindsay is addicted to apple juice. So we keep our apple juice in here. We got coffee, creamer, and, and all that kind Some of stuff. Some snacks. This was more of Lindsay's plant station. Yeah, now my it's just dirt, my soil, my pots. General collection <laughs> of stuff. Um, but oh. this is, again, this is our front yard and it's something that, or our front door, and it's something that's just really comfortable for us that uh, we want it to be what we want it to be. We've got our chairs, of course, that we're able to sit in. And Lindsay has some bird feeders she put out and she was able to just sit here and take pictures of the birds or enjoy the birds in the morning. This is our Roadmaster Nighthawk setup and uh, it doesn't get used. Uh, we dug a hole out, it got a little mud on it. We're gonna clean it up. Um, but this will be very, very important once we hit the road again because this is how we get our CRV to wherever we're going. We have a full hookup here, which is great. Again, being stationary, um, having a full hookup means we've got our city water inlet. We've got our 30 amp power. So it did get hot enough. We need to run the air condition. That's really the only thing that runs off of 30 for us. Um, but we had that whole setup and we've got a full septic, a full sewer. As you may or may not know, we have a composting toilet. So we really only have the urine that we're diverting into the, to the black tank and into the, the sewer. but. That's what we've got going on. And last but not least on the outside is good old Starlink, which is over there. 
and the dogs. <laughs> so I've run through a lot of the things. Oh, and we got, we were level. So we built our own leveling blocks and we use some of the yellow ones that shatter everywhere, the plastic ones. Um, but we're linking this stuff in, in the description. If you're interested in this setup, we'll talk more about it. But um, this is how we set up for the long term from an outside perspective. And Lindsay's gonna go ahead and take you inside and show you kind of the whirlwind that has become our living space for the last couple of months that we've been here. All right, guys, come inside with me and I'll show you around. Forewarning, it is a little messy. Welcome to our stationary RV for the past five months. It's a little messy. It's lived in, it's small space. So, you know, things pile up quickly in a small space. So like here we have a little less room because we keep our couch pulled out just so we have more room um, to hang out on it with the dogs at night. And as you can see, we have like a whole bunch of pillows <laughs> from our bed just on here to make it a little more comfy. Um, when I come home from work, I usually feed the dogs, feed myself, and then I'll work on my computer for a little bit. So this is my desk and computer setup. I just leave that up there and then uh, Chris likes to keep his clothes easy to access. <laughs> it's my second closet. This is my like, this is what I'm wearing during the day. Like this is my walk the dogs in the morning clothes. And uh, because it's been cold lately, there's all the cold weather stuff for my ears and my hands. And as you can see, stuff is just piled up and then uh, my what? beautiful throwaway pillows. Oh, look, she called the them throwaway pillows. We got new ones. Why do we get new ones? Because Huck chewed up the other ones. Yeah, your dog. <laughs> and as you can see, the front area has become storage. <laughs> Some random stuff in there's there. There's a guitar I've not played. Yeah, there's a frying pan. Oh, the ukulele you got yeah, that you don't play. Yeah, the ukulele that I don't have time to play. That I hopefully have time to play later. And then we got this, you know, lovely setup in the middle of our living space. These are all uh, supplements, vitamins and supplements we just got in the mail. We haven't gone through yet. So that's there. And This kitchen is a lot cleaner than it really is. <laughs> I told Lindsay, let's just show everybody what it's like for what it's like when we come home from work and when we wake up and we go to work and you know what? you got a messy house, I'm sure. But Lindsay made it look pretty. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't call that pretty. Okay, well, it's definitely and prettier than what it was. We got a new little curtain. Look at that addition. The section off the bathroom. Um, go in here. So if you joined us because you watched our tour and you said that's amazing, one of the most asked questions is, what do you do when one of you has to poop? <laughs> we don't really have a door to, like, for privacy. So we did have a door, but the door kind of broke. <laughs> it had a pocket door, and... Uh, yeah, it didn't work very well, and then I tried to pretty it up, and then it didn't fit, so we just threw it out. So we haven't had a door. So now we have a see-through curtain for <laughs> so now privacy. We have a <laughs> I can still see you. Yes, I'll see, but it's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. We'll see how it holds up to the bumps and Baja. Yeah, it'll stay. Okay. You, you say it. So here's in the bathroom, which is um, sadly the shower is kind of taken apart right now. Ooh, what does that mean? Why so I'll show you for those that are wanting to remodel their older RV. Just go ahead and replace all the plumbing. Replace the shower pan, <laughs> replace the plumbing. So what happened? Because after two, two years of living in this? Two and a half. Two and a half years living in this, the tub finally cracked on us. Um, and then... I don't know, whenever the drain started leaking. Yeah. So we need all new plumbing and a new shower pan and our shower, our beautiful shower that we built. That's now going to have to be all ripped out and rebuilt. So. That's going to be a fun project when we leave here. We're going to take you there in a couple weeks. We're going to go down to our friends, Joe and Lily in Arizona and uh, in Prescott. And we're going to be tearing apart. Joe and I, well, I'll probably tear it apart. I'm going to be in tears. It took a lot to build this. It's a beautiful shower. We freaking love it. Obviously, we use it. We use it so much we broke it. But good thing we broke it now because we do have time to fix it on our way to Baja 
If it happened in Baja, I don't think we could buy a new shower pan in no, Baja. No, we couldn't. We'd be screwed in Baja. It would be leaking everywhere. <laughs> and um, the bedroom, you don't really need to see. So let's oh, just go out. Let's just turn around and walk out the door. Oh, you didn't turn these, you didn't <laughs> no. turn these lights on? No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's because, um. Because we never make the bed. Yeah, who, we who never makes make a bed? bed? Chris makes the bed. What's the point of making a bed? Like, if you're just going to mess it up every day, what's the point? You make a bed when you do TikTok videos. I do. I make the bed when I make TikTok videos. <laughs> and our work clothes. <laughs> yeah, we just leave our work clothes out. That's um. Mine's inside out. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we, these hooks here are what we lock the door so the door doesn't yeah, slide while we're driving. Become, yeah. It's become our extra closet. Our extra closet. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the cleanest that I've seen the counter for the sink in a while. We've got all kinds of knickknacks and stuff that, that come out there. Let's talk about the fact that we built a laundry trap. That we don't use! Yeah, where's the laundry? Yeah, our laundry's piled up right there. We don't Who use... likes to lay in that? We... Huck likes to lay yeah, in that. Yeah, it's a perfect dog bed. We do not use our wonderful laundry chute. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk more about our jobs and what we've been doing the last five months, but we've been working our butts off and we get tired and just like you, when you get tired and you come home and you didn't change clothes, maybe you don't remember you got a clothes bin that you built that is buried away and out of sight so you don't have to look at it. It's kind of a little hard to get to. It's a little hard to get to, but it's it was built so we didn't have to look at our and dirty stuff clothes. stuff gets piled up on top of it but so you can't open it. We just, you know, we just... <laughs> We do what we do because we've been working, we've been stationary, and this is not normal for us to be this way. But that's why we wanted to bring you back into the story and let you see this life because it's not it's not all like super glamorous and this sexy. This is what and real RV life looks like, y'all. This is real RV this life. This is it. So thank you so much for joining us today for this video. We're excited to be back. Hopefully you're excited to have us back. We're looking forward to all kinds of great content and we want to connect with you more. So please, again, let us know how you found us. Let us know where you are, what's going on in your life. And uh, we've got some big news, some announcements we're going to be making in the next couple weeks and the next couple months where we hope to be able to meet you personally somewhere out on the road or in your hometown. So let's stay connected. Please let us know how you're doing. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you when we see you. Is Felicia still out there? I think she is. Felicia, you still out there? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>